Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> How are you? I hope you are doing good. We are still in uh, lesson one with properties. Uh, the pages of the lesson from page five to thirty-four. I encourage you all to open page seventeen in your textbook. All right. We'll move uh, now to talk about how energy affect waves, all right? So the relation of energy to wave property. I chose to explain this lab, lab exercise for you uh, because the material is simple and I think uh, most of you could find this material at home. So the lab name is Strike That. That's the name of the lab exercise or the activity. The material you need, waxed paper, beaker, or a cup made of glass, it would work, all right? Grains of rice, couple of pieces of rice, pencil, and a rubber band. So the procedure is, uh, number two, of course, stretch wax paper over the top of a beaker or a cup, wrap a rubber band around the top to hold it tightly. So stretch the wax paper around the cup like this. Do you see how uh, this wax paper is around the cup? And I want you to put the rubber band around it so you hold it tightly, all right? You put the rubber band around the, the stretch paper and the cup to hold it tightly. So the cup will be covered with the waxed paper. If you can do it with balloon, do it with a balloon, all right? Three. Strike the center of the wax paper gently with the eraser end of the pencil. This is the eraser uh, end of the pencil. I want you to strike. Strike meaning hit the wax paper gently, all right? Then hit it a bit harder. You will hear a sound, right? When you hit it gently, you will hear a sound. And when you hit the wax paper also harder, you will hear the sound getting stronger. So how did the sound change? Uh, obviously, the sound change uh, what you, when you hit it slowly or softly, it will produce soft sound. When you ha keep hitting the wax paper on the glass cup harder, the sound become more intense, right? Later on, after that, sprinkle a few grains of rice into the wax paper. Then again, strike the paper gently, then harder, and absorb observe how the rice movement at each time and record your observation okay so we're going to record our observation here in the box data and observation so you should write that when the wax paper is struck gently the rice moves by vibration right when the wax paper struck with force the rice moves more and more bounce off the wax Paper, meaning when you're hitting or you are striking the wax paper or the, I told you, if you can do it with a balloon, it's fine. When you hit it gently, you see the, the rice grains vibrating, all right? And when you hit harder, you see the, the rice grain are actually jumping from the wax paper. So please write, this is the answer. Start writing from the word when, all right? When the wax paper is struck. You start from here until the end, until the, the dot. Next, analyze and conclude. Number six, contrast the waves made by tapping the pencil gently and then harder. The answer is the waves made by striking it harder were much larger than the waves made by striking it softly, obviously, right? When you strike it gently, you produce small wave. That's why you hear the you, you don't you hear a soft sound. But when you strike it hard, I, I encourage you all to try it again, all right? You hear the sound getting stronger. That means the wave is bigger now or more waves. Okay, number seven. When did the pencil transfer more energy to the wax paper? Paper. Explain, explain the answer. So the answer will be the pencil transferred more energy to the wax paper when I stuck it harder. The rice got higher when the wax paper was struck harder. More motion means more kinetic energy. So the energy transferred from me 
I'm the one who's actually applying force on the wax paper. The wax paper is not magically moving by itself. I'm hitting the wax paper. So the energy is coming from my hand. So when I strike it harder, that's mean more energy. I'm applying more force to the wax paper, meaning more energy to the wax paper. And you are trying it, you are trying it yourself, all right? And the rice will bounce or vibrate more strongly because the struck was harder, because the force was bigger here, all right? The energy was bigger. So more motion or more energy will produce more kinetic energy to the rice. The rice actually moving. Number eight. How are the loudness of the sound and the energy of the strike related? Meaning, the sound was soft when I struck the wax paper gently. When I struck the, rasp, the wax paper hard, the sound increased. So, the answer will be, the wax paper produced louder sound when it was struck with more force. Please copy these answers in your textbook. It's important, all right, to understand the phenomena. So, in a conclusion, we can say that energy related to wave production, all right? Energy is related to wave production. When you apply more energy, technically the wave should be bigger, all right? And when the energy is small or you apply a little bit of energy the wave will decrease thank you everybody for listening have a nice day everyone